classic shrimp ramen. Let's get cooking. First, now this isn't college style ramen. No, not, not This is not way. your college's ramen. First you want to start off with a hot wok. Hot wok. A little bit of oil. What kind of oil do you use when you uh, are stir frying? Uh, we use peanut oil. Next we're going to start off with some shrimp. Next we're going to take a ginger and garlic blend. Okay. That's about 60% uh, garlic and 40% ginger. Next we're going to add a little bit of dried shrimp. These add almost a, almost a smoky seafood shrimp flavor to it. Next we're going to add just a little bit of green onion. Once you see the garlic ginger start to browning up on the sides a little bit, you'll see where mm -hmm. it sticks across. Right. We're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of black soy. Once that comes back up, you're going to add in a chicken stock. It can be homemade, store-bought, whatever works for you. So next I'm going to have you go ahead and drop some of the, the dried ramen noodles. Um, these are a traditional dried wheat egg noodle, um, okay. thinner cut. Uh, cooks faster, it takes about four to six minutes, depending on how hot your, your, your water is. Drop go them ahead, in? Yep, go ahead and drop them in. You can do one, typically about two to three ounces, about six ounces of noodle. Um, I can eat a lot, so. Go ahead and drop two. Okay. So in, in the wok here, as we're starting to come up to a simmer along the edges here, we're gonna start adding a few other ingredients. Okay. What we have here is uh, wakame, which is a uh, dried seaweed that we have re-soaked, rinsed, and just kind of softened up. We have some sliced bamboo shoots. Yeah. We have some sliced snap peas. Yummy. Take a mm. small amount of them, sit them in the center of the bowl, pour in the stock. Because you kind of want to pile those up on top. Yeah, we're going to arrange Gorgeous. these up so we get a little bit for presentation's sake. Next, we're going to take different condiments, some different uh, garnishes. This is a sliced white fish cake. We're going to take what I consider to be the very best part of the ramen, a soft poached egg. And basically by soft poached, it means that the white is set, the yolk is not. Uh, then we're just gonna go ahead and garnish it off. A little bit of sesame seed here, and then mostly for color and a little bit for that nice fresh herb flavor. Some more green onions on top. Cook the egg so you get that nice running yolk in it. Uh, once you have the ingredients together and mm -hmm. uh, cut up, it, uh, it takes literally minutes to put together. Uh, you know, and if, if it comes down to it and you really don't feel like it, we have free delivery in the Ashland area. It's delicious. If you'd like to try it, you can head on down to Sesame Asian Kitchen in Ashland. We've also put this episode at ctdl.com.